Now this illustration deals with cooking equipment, but we're using table 220.55 column A to determine the procedure for determining uh, the VA uh, and solution that you see in the boxed in information. Now notice again, we give you a figure loop so that you can very quickly move to a chapter that will uh, give you more information. And when you're using any uh, of, of the stock of books, if you would you look at the table of contents, it will tell you uh, what each chapter covers. Then all you have to do is just flip through the chapter and uh, pick up uh, the item that uh, you're needing to, to do a particular job. Now, I know sometimes uh, as electrician and uh, dwelling units, residential type uh, work, we just go along whatever the contractor tells us. But are you satisfied with that? Uh, are you, do you want to know more knowledge, have more knowledge, and know how this stuff is uh, calculated and determined? So now, uh, looking uh, at this particular item, the branch circuit has two 3KW cooktops on a branch circuit. Now, let's drop down and notice in the column A, now we're looking at step one, but we have a question first. So let's uh, take this in steps. What is the demand load for a branch circuit serving two 3KW cooktops? Notice a demand. Not would the connected load actually be, but a demand. Now, as designers and electricians, we know demand is less than one, as you see in step one. See? It's less than 100%. It's 75%. But diversity, if anybody asks, is more than one. It'd be like 1.5, 2.5, that kind of thing. See? But you'd find that in, uh, and I'm going to call a name here, the McGraw-Hill uh, Electrical Engineering Handbook. Uh, those engineering handbooks would have that. Now, in step one, we're taking the 3KW of each unit times two units, but from the column A, based upon these two units with their uh, KW rating, we get a 75% demand. So instead of having 6KW, we have 4.5KW for the service and for the branch circuit. And you know the concept of it. I turn the heat up, heat the... Uh, the uh, heating element up, heat the uh, water or the uh, whatever I'm cooking up to a, a temperature, then I just turn it back and slowly cook it or I'd burn it up. So I never use the full load or I, I'd burn my food up and, and other things I'd overheat, see. So when I do my math there and take my, in step two, take 4.5 kVA times 1,000, then I'm not trying to be too simple here. But when I multiply by the thousand, I get rid of the K and we uh, uh, do our math work and it's now, it's VA. So we're 4,500 VA. So the demand load for the branch circuit, feeder, or service is 4,500 VA and that is the answer and the solution that you see in the boxed in information when you have uh, uh, at least two or whatever number you have that's on the... Uh, uh, branch circuit as you see in this illustration.